What up, Don't First Nation? Okay. <clears throat> Over the past uh, few days, I've developed a cold. It's majority passed right now, but nose is still bunged up, mainly on the left side, and my throat is still a bit off. But dying aside, I've been working on a few other things. Artwork, I just finished a piece to be uploaded to DA fully. DeviantArt has a stash function, which I hate but it is useful for PMD model files. So I uploaded the image onto there and well so far it's okay. I have two models that I have personally rigged up. Well, 3D models. Got a human version of me Come on, everyone who does PMD models has done a human version of themselves in PMD, or their alter ego. Me, I've done a whole load of them. I've done a keep a cataclysm, which is my newest form. Some people on DA will know about my Kamen Rider cataclysm form, which I, I still have yet to draw up. I've got his helmet in the works. If I can build a 3D model of him, then that would be brilliant. But it's actually building it. That's the problem. And recoloring textures. I have a hard time recoloring textures. I know how to do it. I can use paint to do it. It's actually doing it. <laughs> Fortunately, I was not able to get DX rigged up. Mainly because FG Constructions, who was doing the rigging for it, fortunately said that uh, Necros, DX, and Becky had too many vertex. So, yeah. This is what I'm doing. I am taking DX apart and fiddling with him a little bit. I'm I'm getting rid of his head, his chest plate, or part of his chest plate, the ball sockets, and the mechanical right arm. Mainly because those are where all the vertex issues are coming from. So, at the moment, I'm <sighs> working on doing the new head, which is going rather well. Except See, that's first time having to redo it, which was earlier today, I got so far along, I was practically almost finished on rebuilding the X. <sighs> then, when I loaded in one sphere, I noticed that there, there were too many vertex on that sphere to be used. So, I pressed the undo button. Guess what came up? Model Inite Fail. Seriously, how does that cause a Model Inite Fail? There were less vertex on the screen than there were on the model. Literally, there was half as many vertex as there were on DX originally. And a simple sphere cut it off. That makes no sense. Literally, I'd removed all the sphere pieces from him so that cut down the polygon count greatly. See, as it doesn't exactly tell me the polygon count. Literally, PMD does not have a polygon counter. Well, as far as I know, it doesn't. So that is kind of annoying. So I can't do anything with that. So I am struggling to redo DX because I kind of want to start doing my reviews of films in January. Well, hopefully get one out in January, just before my birthday. 
because come January time, I'm going to be working on fursuit. Me and my mum are going to have to do a duct tape dummy and get that sent off to a fursuit maker. Hopefully, if we can find a fluffy onesie, we can do it that way. It's a final luck, but duct tape dummy is most likely what we're going to have to do. Then we can get the bodysuit done. Uh, take that to one of the indoor markets, find the fabrics stall, one with all the different carpet materials, get them to see if they can match the material up as close as possible, and then work from there. <laughs> then we're going to have to try and find a lot of foam board or craft foam, since it is almost impossible to find. Literally, I've been to three hobby crafts. I've been to three and they don't sell craft foam. So you think by the name hobby craft, you'd think they would sell craft foam. They don't. All they sell is tiny little sheets. Sheets about the size of your hand, roughly. Which is just the size of your hand, that's as roughly as they do it. I need sheets about this big. I need actual foam sheets. Preferably that thick. Preferably that thick or maybe a little bit thinner. But I need that so I can build the sword sheath and the chest plate. Then there is doing the mechanical hand, which um, that may not come to fruition mainly because thickness of the plastic is kind of hard to find pieces to go in it to become the joint parts. I might be able to use connects pieces. Also on the topic of the bow blade, I was not able to use connects to make the framing, so that weapon may not come into fruition for the suit. If I get a double driver this year, keyword there, if, and if I accumulate maybe 60 quid I'll be using 11 of those pounds to buy something in town because I've noticed there is a very very nice lights and sounds rifle toy in one of the power shops there are four of them there and they are big roughly about uh, about yay big about that tall and it's pretty impressive it's got a rotating piece in the center with lights inside of it I've always been fascinated by how they do that the thing is, the sounds in it are brilliant <laughs> and knowing me I'll try and incorporate a function to go with my D-Trix if my bow blade project doesn't come to fruition I will be putting the internals of my Toriga into the big blaster and turning back into a Gaia memory blaster. <laughs> yeah, if there's no actual shooting sound in the actual big gun, then I could take the internals from my Toriga project and put that inside the big gun, and then put the internals of the Nerf gun into the big gun. Then I will have a shell of a night finder. Yeah, it's a little bit better if I do it with big gun. Uh, Man, because I can make a few mistakes with that and cut off a few things. This has got a really big profile. Hey, and that would work a bit better. It sounds like I would rather like to have the bow blade ready. I prefer swords more than guns. Mm. Recently I have obtained a few files. I've obtained the Bamzuki kit. <laughs> if you know what Bamzuki is, then good on you. If you don't know what it is, go look it up. I ain't saying nothing about it. <laughs> I've also obtained a few LDD files. Leo Digital Designer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whole 
children playing with Lego thing. Seriously, there are conventions just for Lego, and the majority of people who go there are, let's see here, engineers, architects, builders, and, um, oh, I don't know, adults. Literally, there are few children that ever go to those. When it comes to a convention, it's more adult orientation. Meaning, more adults go there than children. Even though the concept of the convention is for children. There's more adults there than children. Always turn that a little bit around, I can't help it. If it's not turned around, I can't drink from it. Yes, it's another Coke can to add to my collection. You may be noticing why I'm not wearing my big headphones. Yeah. Um. The headphone jack on my computer has broken. Yeah, I can't use any headphones with my laptop whatsoever. I can use a microphone just fine. I got this at a charity shop. Yeah. I literally just got this at a charity shop just for the hell of it. Simple plug. The actual microphone bit, it's actually in this, so that's all dead space. <laughs> Thing is, if I have trouble hearing or speaking in the first suit head, this is going to come in handy because I can easily just hook it up to a speaker, put a power source between it, then I can get a megaphone function. And plus, I can easily just mount this. Without this bit, you should just cut down the center of that, take it off, and then maybe clip it into something else. And then either mount that into the nose, then feed it through and into the mouth so I can get a speaker into the mouth bit, or make the speaker into the nose and then put the microphone in the throat. That way I can speak louder. But yeah, I mainly got this so I can actually make sure my voice does not get distorted in this. Literally, my voice is not as deep as shown in the videos. My voice is a little bit higher. Only a little bit. <laughs> Literally, if you listen to my voice on video and then meet me in person, there is a difference. There is quite a bit of a difference. Then because on video, it makes it a little deeper for some reason, I can't edit that. Mainly because that would entail me, that would entail me opening two programs, one to record the video, one to record the audio, then that would require me to sync the audio back up with the video, and then edit the audio into the right tone, even though I don't know what tone my voice is in. So basically, I would be ended up doing the prime thing, where it there's a person on YouTube by the name of Prime75. They use a voice manipulator. They basically make their voice very high pitched and squeaky, but still recognizable, so they can't be recognized. Yeah, I would end up with that effect. <clears throat> but yeah, so far, kind of crazy. Also, uh, original plan for Christmas. I am not able to do unboxing of the Saka presents. Every year, me and my sister get a large sack of small presents that we're supposed to open on our beds before going into the main room. 
But we have a tradition where we go into one of the two living rooms and open those sack presents. Last year, my dad broke that by telling us not to do it, even though he was the one who told us to do it. Yeah, I don't get either. So this year, me and my sister are going to continue our tradition, but we're going to do it a little bit later. So, yeah. Not going to be having a bit of a vlog on that day, except for the end of the day where I show off what I got. Just to be a stinker. But, yeah. Also, this is for Common Runner fans. Do any of you know why, when it comes to the Trigger Gaia memory, why they didn't put the maximum drive in that? Why did they have to put the maximum drive in the Magnum? I, I really never understood why it was in the Magnum. Which I've always been confused as to why. Because, well, metal memory, that's never used outside of the prison bigger and the metal shaft. But its maximum drive is in the memory itself. Now, the trigger memory, that was used in, I believe, one of the gadgets and in the actual maximum drive slot. <laughs> but yet, yeah, in the show, there was a maximum drive, but the toy doesn't have it. The T2 version it's a dope art memory. That's practically all it is. Only the Joker memory and the Eternal memory actually do a henshin. Since I would have thought all the double memories and the skull memory would have had a transformation because, well, let's face it, skull was a type 2 from the start. Literally, it was a blue tip. Literally, when the Lost Driver came out, the skull memory was a blue tip memory before the Type 2s were released. <laughs> but now, it just does a dope pound sound, which I never really liked that sound because it was only good on the show, never in toys. Unless you got the DX dope pound memory, which, well, had all of the first 27. <laughs> I have been hunting for a trigger memory that actually has its maximum drive. I even sent a message to CS Toys International, which they haven't replied back yet, asking if they know of a trigger Gaia memory that has its maximum drive and where can I find it? This, literally, I love trigger. That's my favorite Gaia memory. That's literally my favorite freaking Gaia memory. It's my favourite bloody guy in memory just because of the Magnum. The only problem with it is, it's not an intelligent gun. The Excalibur was an ugly blaster, but it had a dual feature. It turned into a sword, but it counted how many shots you would fire. It had rapid fire and it had single shot. The Magnum only has eight shots excessively, so you can only get a succession of seven shots. Wait. It's either seven or eight shots. I can't remember, it's been about two weeks since I watched the video. The sound guy memory of trigger, no maximum drive. Can gash upon memory of trigger, no sounds. I just want a blinking trigger guy memory. I don't care about the light. To be honest, I don't really care about the light. I can easily just get someone to put that in. All I care about is the sound. I just want the maximum drive. And plus the batteries, I can easily just re... I can just drill out the battery compartment, add up the voltage, just put in a bigger battery. So 
so sorry if I'm taking long drinks. My throat is still not good. <sighs> problem is, I can't get guy members. So, yeah, that's a problem. What I'd like to do is just find a blinking guy memory, like find a trigger memory that actually has its maximum drive, and then I could try and get my hands on it. Unfortunately, I need to know what memory it actually has the sound and where I can get it. Unfortunately, that I can't do because I have no luck in finding one. So, yeah. And the Type 2 memory is out of the question because it is just a dope part sound. And yeah, the only way for me to get a blinking Type 2 memory is eBay or the complete selection and to be honest I'm not a huge fan of the complete selections. They don't have a unique transformation sound to be honest. <clears throat> but there is another option. Custom memories. There's one person on YouTube who's done a custom O's guy memory. Green shell white stick with the O's logo on it. From what I can see from the video, they've put into the memory all the O's combos and transformation sounds. That's not a normal guy memory. There are also people who've done Forze memories when Forze memories weren't even available at that point. So, yeah. Somehow that's come to fruition. And there are some who've hacked the belts to get bonus sounds. You can put in LED functions into the O's driver and other such things. So I might be able to get one of them to make me a custom memory. Let's see if I can get PayPal to work. No, I don't have PayPal yet. Can't even access my bank account. We don't have the book anymore. Yeah, that's kind of screwed. If I get a double driver, that's a keyword there. If if I get a double driver, then I'm gonna do a review of that. The double driver, Gal Icarus. I'm going to redo the review of Murphy. I'm going to try and do the White Tiger again. I'm going to do the Thundersaurus Megazord again. I'm definitely doing the G12. Definitely. And then we're also going to be reviewing the Mystic Force Magic King. And I might also do the Micro, micro Overdrive Megazord sets. Yeah, but that's if I can clear that. And if I get a double driver. And also if I freaking get somewhere to put my laptop and if I get a better camera. But yeah. That's only in the far away point. It's only a few days left till Christmas, only about a week. And it's gonna be absolute mayhem. So yeah. This is just me saying just a few updates and peace on the street. Son.